Hey guys, hope you're all doing all right. Today we will look at this uh, very powerful and a very useful expansion module. This is called a L293D expansion module or expansion shield for the Arduino. The primary driver for this module is the L293D integrated chip circuit. And we've got two of these here. This guy and this guy are the two L293 IC chips that we've got. So the L293D is a very popular, perhaps the most popular chip when it comes to driving small motors with low current. And that's exactly what this whole module is intended for. It's called an expansion module or a um, shield because it actually just expands on top of your Arduino so you can all these pins they fit right into your um, existing Arduino pins and you can just stack it on top of your Arduino just like that each of these um, L293 ICs can run two motors at a time so this one will run two motors and this one will run two DC motors so together they can run four DC motors in either direction so forwards or backwards so they are pretty useful now you can use the uh, Arduino to run maybe one DC motor at a time but I would not recommend it because motors are uh, complicated and they generate something called back EMF that can potentially destroy your Arduino so another reason to use the shield is protection it's got all these capacitors here to stop spikes of back EMF or back voltage so now that we know that this shield can run four motors and that's very nice uh, let's see what else it can do it's got two uh, pairs of three pins here which say servo 1 and servo 2 so it can run two servos and two stepper DC motors so it can run either you can run either four motors uh, off of these or you can run two servos and two uh, stepper motors are off of these so either of the two combination let's take a closer look at uh, the board itself we have got four motor connections here this one's m1 this one's n2 and the middle one's ground so this would be your positive negative uh, positive negative or um, you know um, one two one two and then ground if you're using a stepper motor and these are for motors three and motor four and then here on top, as we just said, are the connections for the servo motors, which we will connect in just a while. Uh, this one here, very important, is the external power supply, which means that you can get an external power supply like this one, and you can hook it on. Um, it's got positive and uh, ground, or positive and negative. So you can hook up your external power supply here, but you have to be careful with external power supplies this jumper right here is to switch between external power supply and Arduino power supply now now this is a very confusing topic for some people whether to use external power supply or to use the Arduino power supply now if you're using the Arduino you will surely use um, something like this one to supply 5 volts uh, to the Arduino or you might use uh, you know um, a USB connection to connect it here um, and, and power your Arduino with 5 volts, but those 5 volts won't run your motors. You would definitely need an external power supply uh, like the battery pack I just showed you guys. So once you have the Arduino connected and you have the ex external power supply connected, your board will still not run out of external power supply until you remove this jumper. So that's what this jumper is for. If you want to use external power, remove the jumper. Let's look at uh, the pins here. You've got right here pins A0 to A5, which are these analog pins on the Arduino. What you have is you've got pins A0 to A5 all the way from here to here. And as you can see, I have already soldered some header pins to it. This is, uh, this is what I had done. So in case you want to use any of the pins, you have these six pins to use from. You can use these for analog or digital and then you've uh, got a few 5 volts pins and a few ground pins and as you see I have soldered just three out of the six pins because I uh, need to connect three of my sensors 
let's go ahead and um, connect the power supply. All right, I've got um, two of these motors. So what I'm going to do is run both of them simultaneously. And I've got this servo, which I'm also going to connect and run at the same time. And as soon as I have the power supply connected, you should see the um, a green LED light up. And that means um, your power supply is working and your motors can be run. If this LED is not lighting up, that means something is wrong with your uh, power supply. And uh, don't even, uh, you know, don't even try to run the code at this point of time. It won't run. Now, let's connect our motors. All right, so I have my two DC motors connected and I have my servo connected. Let's go ahead, I'll look at the code and try to run these. Now, it's time to download the library for this shield. And uh, our friends at GitHub have written a very nice library. Uh, it is quite old because uh, that's what this version supports, but it's still functional. It works very well. If you have a newer version of the shield, version 2 or higher, then you can use that library. But for now, uh, we have the Adafruit Motor Shield Library, or you can just search for AF Motor Shield Library. Uh, let's download it. Download zip. And once you extract the uh, Adafruit library, you can go to your documents in your Arduino folder, libraries, and you can paste that and rename it as AF Motor. Once you do that, you can restart your Arduino IDE. And once you go into File, Examples, and if you scroll down, you should see something called the Adafruit Motor Shield library. So open the Motor Party sketch and it should look something like this now this is using the AF motor library that I just downloaded and the servo library which should be a standard library in the Arduino libraries so what this is doing is uh, a little complicated it's using um, a counter and it's incrementing the counter to increase the speed of the motor every time but we're gonna do something simpler so let's get rid of all this sorry guys at github and uh, we're gonna leave this one this is also using a stepper motor so we're gonna get rid of the stepper motor since we don't have one um, and uh, yeah all right so what what is it doing here let's go through this this is a DC motor um, it's uh, initializing the DC motor which is uh, the second motor M2 but we have two motors so let's paste that again and let's say one saying we have a connection at port one on the shield which is this guy and we have a connection at port two on the shield which is here if we had them here on this side then we would have uh, um, called for ports three and four here but now there's a problem here both of our motors are called motor and that's a problem because they should have unique names. So let's call them motor 1 and motor 2. And then we have a servo called a servo 1. And once we have initialized all this, we can go into our setup, begin the serial communication. And then uh, we say that the servo is attached to uh, port 9, which is a servo port on our board. And we can set our motor speed. Uh, you can set your speed. Uh, anywhere from 0 to 255 so this is set at a comfortable 200 and obviously 0 to 255 means it's a PWM signal and if you don't know what a PWM signal is then I have a very nice tutorial on PWM so check that out and get up to speed with uh, PWM signals pun intended so what this is doing here is just setting the speed and then it's uh, it uses something called a run uh, function to uh, you know stop or run the motor right now it's saying run release which means it's the motor is released which means it's not running so right now we haven't even run the motor we've just set it up we've set the speed and uh, we've released it right so let's go to void loop and then actually write some code Oh, we've, we, we forgot to uh, set it for the other motors. So we have to say motor 1, motor 1. And then we have to do the same for motor 2. And 
electric motors too. And then um, a very important function or a very useful function is the auto format function. If you got something like this, you can just go to auto format and it'll make it all uh, nice for you. Once you go to void loop, you can uh, start running your motors. So you can say something like motor one dot run uh, forward. So this library uses the run forward or run backward or the run release functions. You can read up the library uh, if you want to, you know, know more about the functions. Let's do the same for motor two. It's running forward now. Let's keep it running for three seconds. The delay is perfect. We also need to run our stepper motor, or uh, sorry, we need to run our servo. So let's say servo one dot right. Now the servo doesn't use a run function because right here we're using two libraries. So servo is using a different library, and that run that uh, functions in a different way. So we can just write an angle to it. That's how servos work. They work on angles. So the servo is moving uh, plus 20 degrees when we say this. And then we have delay of 30 seconds and then uh, that's it. We need to stop these motors. So we need to say run release and we need to say the same for motor 2. And then we need our servo to come back to its original position so we say minus 20 degrees. And that's about it. We wait for another three seconds. Um, this should be it. Let's start to run. All right, it says done uploading. So let's look at our uh, motors here. So these two motors, they're running for they're running for three seconds, and then stopping for three seconds. And Mr. Servo here is going twenty degrees to the left and then it's coming back to its original positions uh, to the to its original position after and that's how you use the L293 expansion module hope this was helpful if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and um, yeah keep fun engineering stay safe and I'll see you guys next time